Every November, on the fourth Thursday, we celebrate a special day, Thanksgiving. It's a time we give thanks to remember God's goodness in our lives. It's also a good time to think back on all that led up to that very first Thanksgiving day. Back in Europe, almost 400 years ago, the pilgrims had a big problem. They weren't allowed to worship God the way He wanted to be worshipped. This made life difficult for them. So they made the very brave decision to leave their homes, family members, and friends to travel west to a new land across the Atlantic Ocean. The pilgrims set sail on the Mayflower. The trip was a dangerous one, filled with stormy seas, sickness, and cramped living conditions. There was little room to run and play on the small dark deck where they stayed. For 66 days they sailed, till finally they spotted land. The Mayflower planned to land in Virginia, but stormy seas steered the ship further north to Plymouth. Plymouth was a land with no laws, so the pilgrims had to create them. The rules they would live by became known as the Mayflower Compact. The pilgrims agreed to live by these laws to give honor to God and to live peaceably with each other. Landing in Plymouth didn't mean everyone got to step on land, though. Only the men got to leave the ship right away. They left to find a place to settle, while the women and children stayed on board. Weeks and weeks passed as the men continued to build houses and a fort. When winter came, it was very difficult for the pilgrims. There was little food, and many became sick. Some even died. But the day finally came when the settlement was ready and everyone was able to move to land. The pilgrims' first visitor was a woodland man named Samoset. He surprised the pilgrims when he spoke English to them. He promised to bring his chief and his friends to meet them. Samoset kept his promise, returning with the chief and Squanto, another English-speaking friend. The pilgrims and woodland people quickly became friends. They trusted each other and made a peace treaty to promise to live peaceably with each other. Squanto and his friendship was a special blessing to the pilgrims. He taught them how to plant crops and how to bury fish with the seeds. When harvest time came, the pilgrims saw great success with their crops. It had been a difficult year but they could see how God had blessed them in this new land. The pilgrims were so thankful, they decided to hold a special celebration, the first Thanksgiving Day. At a table filled with food God had provided, surrounded with special friendships God had made, along with family and loved ones, this was the first Thanksgiving Day. What a lovely Thanksgiving Day card from Grandpa and Grandma. Thank you for reading it, dear. Okay, everyone, I think we're ready to dig in. But first, let's start with a word of prayer. Let's thank the Lord for his many blessings, all right? Okay, let's bow our heads. Father, we praise you so much for your goodness to us. We praise you for Jesus Christ and for his salvation. So, as we celebrate Thanksgiving, it's good to give thanks for those who celebrated it for the first time so very long ago.